Hi guys, welcome back to QNet Live Broadcast. Today we have our PM Josh here because we are going to introduce a new function in our uh, file station which is the most important QBKG inside our QTS operation system. So uh, we will start from the first beginning of the slide. Well basically this function is that now you can have a collaboration and uh, you can work with your team for the Microsoft uh, Word or Excel or PowerPoint on to uh, sorry on our QNet NAS. Uh, uh, in the past, if you want to uh, edit the file on the online version, well, basically that is the things that you saved onto the your 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 drive that provided by the Microsoft. Yes. Then you can uh, you can create new file and then you can edit it and then you can share with your colleagues or your friends that everyone can edit them. But the file is still saved on the cloud, which is not your own cloud. So uh, this new function is that now you can uh, do all the things as the, uh, as the way that you are, you've been doing it. But now you can save the file on your own cloud, your yes, NAS. Yes. So please make an introduction. Okay. Uh, we know many of uh, our uh, customers asking this feature that they want to edit a document in NAS directly, or they want to share uh, the file with the NAS, another NAS user to collaboration. So uh, QNAP, we uh, collaborate with Microsoft to integrate their Microsoft Office for the web feature in our file station. So now you can, uh, now your NAS, the QNAP NAS is not only just uh, storage your data, but also a team works best for collaboration. So with QNAP, uh, my QNAP Cloud Smart URL, you can access the uh, NAS. You can access the data anywhere, anytime. You just right click and you can edit the uh, data. And since we uh, collaborate with Microsoft, so Microsoft Office is, uh, I believe, is really familiar for you to know the, uh, the feature and to trust their feature. And there is nothing new for you to learn. Mm -hmm. So you can very easily to start to uh, work with your team member to share a document and co-editing. So here's how it works. You store your data, your document in the NAS, in the on-premise NAS. Uh, mm -hmm. or you can say a private cloud. And uh, we integrate with Microsoft Office SaaS, so software as a service, which is on the cloud. So our data will be uh, transferred to Microsoft Server through my QNET Cloud Link. Uh, it will be sec uh, secure transport. And then uh, the mic Microsoft Server will help to do the pr process. After the process, uh, the data will be saved back into the, uh, your premise on-premise NAS. So your data will be kept in your private cloud. Uh, so we will say it is a secure online collaboration solution. Mm -hmm. And we uh, collaborate with Microsoft. So uh, the adding feature is directly provided by Microsoft, uh, which is the same as the Microsoft Office for the web. If you have uh, already used, uh, try the Microsoft 365, they have the uh, Office for the web features which you can open your uh, document in OneDrive on Office on the web. So you can edit your document in OneDrive uh, in the website. Mm -hmm. So this is the same feature we integrate, but your file is still uh, stored in QNAP NAS. So for you, uh, you have nothing to learn because you are already familiar with uh, Microsoft Editor. And of course, support Microsoft for Mac. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing there's no uh, competitive issue. So we support uh, DOCX for the document, XLSX for the uh, sheet, and the PPTS for the slide. So uh, here's how we, how we start to use this uh, Office for Web feature in QNAP NAS in FileStation. So the first thing uh, is you have, uh, for administrator, there's only one thing to uh, setting up which is uh, administrator to go to the my QNET cloud to uh, log in your QID and then mm -hmm. enable my QNET cloud link and let's down. So for, um, for you, another user, you can easily create a document or upload a document in the file station and then share to another uh, team member in uh, which have uh, permission with the share folder and then you can have the online collaboration. 
So first, uh, go to uh, my QNet Cloud and enable my QNet Cloud link. Mm -hmm. And then go to File Station. You can create a new file. We support uh, create to create a document, create a presentation, or create a, a worksheet. Or you can drag and drop your uh, data from your uh, computer to NAS. And then you share your data in uh, with the share folder. You store the data in the share folder. And another user who have also who also have the uh, permission to access this share folder can access this data, can edit this data, and can collaborate this data with you. So for an administrator, you can go to control panel, share folder, and then to create a, a share folder or to add edit the uh, permission of the share folder to decide which user could exit, which user could uh, read or deny. And in addition, uh, an administrator could uh, enable the advanced folder permission so that you can um, design the, the permission for a specific file, mm -hmm. who can access this file, who cannot access this file. And in QNAM NAS, we support a local NAS user or a domain user uh, added by the uh, LDAP or AD. And next, uh, the user who have a uh, permission to the uh, to access this folder, uh, to access this file, the document, could uh, right click the document and select Edit with Office Online, and then start Microsoft Office uh, in your web in your web browser. So you can see here, uh, the uh, screenshot show here. You uh, this Office for Web allow multiple users to access at the same time to edit the file at the same time, mm -hmm. and any any edit will be saved to a NAS in the real time. And Microsoft Office Online recommend uh, a number of current editor is 10, and the mm -hmm. maximum is 99. And there's a, a, a way you can easily to open your document by uh, Office Online, is that you go to the set, file station setting and then set the uh, Set a way to open as a default action to open the file to open the DOC, X, PPDS, and XLS. And you just select uh, you want to edit with uh, Office Online as a default action. Mm -hmm. So after that, you just double click the document so it will open micro, uh, Microsoft Office for Web to edit the file. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next uh, we can have, we, I'm going to have some demo for you. So the first thing is that administrator should go to uh, my QNET Cloud to log in your QID mm -hmm. and then to enable my QNET Cloud link. And it's just that easy. You can enable uh, uh, using this Microsoft Office or, or web feature. So after that, as a user, I can go to File Station and then go to uh, uh, any path I want to add a file. So I can create a file. Just right click and select new. Create a, a Microsoft Word document. And then give the file a name. So next, I'm going to uh, invite Sam to uh, collaborate this file with me. Which one? Uh, okay, yes. this one, yeah. yeah. So uh, before then joining to the document, I, can, I want to show you that you can see that the uh, adding feature is uh, all provided by Microsoft. So I believe it's very familiar for you. You can use any feature you use before you are used to use. Okay, so uh, you can see that Sam is already in the document and he is now editing. I can see what he uh, added in this document. And also, I can uh, have a, a collaboration with him. I can add anyone, any, uh, any type, any word in the document, and do any any kind of editing here. And also, I can comment uh, in the document so that I can communicate with uh, another user. Say that uh, I want them to add something. So here. Uh, uh, this is how what we provide you a uh, uh, collaboration 
in uh, our QNAP NAS in file station, mm -hmm. we, which is uh, which we collaborate with Microsoft, provide you a Microsoft Office Online feature. Okay, so let's go back. Well, after the demonstration, then that comes to the end of our broadcast today. Basically, we just want to show you this new function in our file station. So. Uh, Whenever you have your QTS system updated uh, uh, above the version file 441, then you can start to use this new function. Then if you haven't tried this, you can just go and try. Well, if you need to see more of our software introduction video, you can search the keyword for each software in our YouTube channel. And we will see you next time on QNAP Broadcast. Bye. Bye-bye.